Hey there, this is Rich from Square Design Space, and at squaredesignspace.com you can find custom Squarespace 7.1 uh, templates as well as custom plugins like these cool buttons I have for sale at Square Design Space. Um, squaredesignspace.com, $14.99, and you can add these cool buttons to your site. But we're going to talk about everything you need to know about stylizing your buttons. Uh, within Squarespace 7.1. So let's dive in. So I made this page just to show you uh, we have small buttons, medium buttons, and large buttons in Squarespace. And uh, let's take a look at how you can set up your buttons. So we have this button right here. I'm just going to click on this block and then click this edit icon. So you can see um, this is the text that is within our button and you can link it to either a page on your site. If you just click there, you can see the pages that are already on your website. You can link to a web address, a file if you want a file to be downloaded at the click of a button, um, an email address if you want to trigger an email, or a phone number. So you have all of those options. I'm going to close that and then you have options for the design of the button so you can choose here small medium or large button you can see how that grows and shrinks and you also have alignment so you can do left aligned center aligned or right aligned within that button block so that's um, just adding a button to your page that's how you would do it um, now you also have your newsletter button and your form buttons. So there's a couple things different about these buttons, that's why I have them on here. And we're also going to look um, at the commerce button or your add to cart button if you have a store uh, because that's a little bit different as well. So uh, let's take a look now at um, what if we wanted to change the style of this button. We don't like the rounded corners. How would you do that? So what you would do is you would go to site styles so this little brush right here will open up our site styles window and then you click on buttons and we've got our style right here so this is a solid style button you could change it to an outlined button if you wanted to and you could see how that changes okay so all of those are now outlined style buttons. Um, so we can change back to solid. You also have options for a pill shape or a square shape. So those are all the different ways that you could style your buttons and you can also control the padding around the text. So basically the spacing around the text in your button you can enlarge that or you can shrink it down. So that's how that works. Let's go back now and take a look at what if we wanted to change the font inside of the button. So what you would do is you would click on fonts and then you would go down to buttons and let's say we just want the font to be heavier so 700 weight and then maybe we want to use uppercase letters and we can do that just by doing text transform uppercase. Now let's take a look at these buttons. Our newsletter button has not changed fonts and the form button has not changed fonts. So how do you do that? So let's look. We're going to go back and now we're going to scroll down the fonts panel to assign styles. And you can see we have a newsletter block and a form block here. So the newsletter block we have a button style or the button uh, text as paragraph style so we can customize that we can add a weight that's heavier and text transform uppercase now we still have a different color here so let's we'll look at how we could change the color of that newsletter block text in a second um, let's see if our form block here we got to change the text on this one too so we're gonna go down button text right here on our form block. Customize that. We'll do weight 700 text transform uppercase. 
All right, so there we go. Now all of our buttons are looking the same here, except I don't want the black text on this one. So let's figure out how to change that. We're going to go back to site styles and then colors. And then we're going to click on this dark one section theme color. And then we're going to hover over this button. See how it outlines in blue when we hover we can click on that and then it opens up our newsletter block button text color so we could change that to white and now that newsletter block the form block and all of our buttons are consistent so that's awesome now I'm gonna discard these changes because I don't wanna mess up my template here um, but now let's take a look at the commerce button so that button is a little bit different um, let's see here pages store so the add to cart button is right here and you can see this it just looks different um, the text is the same which is which is nice and the rounded corners are the same so that, that style is working, um, but it is a lot wider. So how do you adjust that? So let's go to edit and then we'll edit design. We'll click on this brush right here. And let's take a look here at product items. I'm gonna click show all. Okay, products item what you have is the form width is a hundred percent so what that's saying is your button here is a hundred percent this block width right here so if you change that you'll see that the button shrinks down so that's how you can control the size of your add to cart button um, in Squarespace 7.1 um, I'll show you the only button that you really don't have control, any control of, is your checkout button. You actually would have to use um, CSS for that. So I'm going to actually, let me just close the site styles and then we'll click on this cart right here. I guess it's not going to let me do that. So let me discard my changes. Add to cart. I'm going to go to my cart. And you can see the checkout button is following none of the styles that we set up. So the checkout button um, would have to be completely customized with CSS to match the rest of your styles. So that is everything you need to know about buttons in Squarespace 7.1. My name is Rich from Square Design Space and be sure to like and subscribe to this video um, or to this channel to see more videos on Squarespace 7.1. Thanks for watching.